Okay, so you want to tell me who you are? Uh, my name is Jamie Hunter. And today we came up here uh, to Bronx Pride to give away a, a whole suitcase full of purses and t shirts and hats. Transgender, bright colors, gay, LBGT, um, and all sorts of fun things. It's we, amazingly difficult to give things away. Oh, yes, I found that out the hard way. It took me about an hour yelling, free, free. You should have made a sign, free. Well, even saying free, I couldn't even get people to look. Really? Yes. I um, thought maybe if I was going to come over there and say, just lay them on the street, we'll leave them out, but they get picked up. Well, maybe by the so garbage what, what did people say when they came over to you? Did they say, they, what they were trick? like, really, this is free? And I was like, yes, this is free. And, and they couldn't believe it. And, you know, they were cautious at first and hesitant. And really, this is and free. And did they and take only one or two each or did somebody? Mo yeah, most of them took one or two items each. Yeah, people um, are so picky. They don't, I say, take it all. I was begging somebody, just take the whole thing. Purses went to some little kids that were very happy with oh. them. Yes. Um, how even about the big fuzzy hat went? How about the transgender T stands for? It's one of the last things to go, oh, really? but it went. Somebody yeah. who knew what it was. And yes, all? Uh, a lesbian couple uh -huh. uh, took that. Yeah. And Gay City News. Gay City News went to a mother with two boys. Oh. Yeah. And what are some of the others? Tell me some of the others if you remember what one. Uh, I, don't know, what I know that uh, a straight man picked up uh, two of the purses for his wife. Oh. Um, and um, uh, a homeless man got one of the T-shirts. Oh. Uh, one of the light, light, lighter T-shirts. What? What did it say? Uh, I believe it was for uh, the legal, uh, the LBGT legal defense. Oh, the yeah. lawyer, Philadelphia yeah. lawyers. Philadelphia yeah. Lawyers. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. A, yeah. So a homeless man got that. Uh huh. And. Uh, did anybody comment on uh, your lesbian princess spot in there? No, no more nobody no. said anything. One person commented, it actually was Joe Mo commented on this button. Really? Yes. And it's how it's happening. And uh, nothing. the Democrats commented on. Um, right, I, I signed their petition too. I did too, yeah. Although the Democratic Socialists, maybe I get them confused with the Socialist Workers for I don't know. There's organized leftist groups. I asked them did they endorse Melissa Scar. Mm -hmm. They said no. I asked why. So, you know, it's, and they gave me, I took the one person they did endorse. She's for free education. I mean, I'm sure I agree with all their pro, a lot of their planks, but I don't agree with their overall view of socialism as a way to run the world. I told them right. I had traveled. I was a democratic socialist in the beginning, went all the way to the liberal republic and the libertarian and back. And I asked them what was going on with the fair and all that stuff. They had a leaflet dealing with that. So I'll be able to read that and understand that. And uh, so anyway, so that is uh, your experience. Any other interesting things that you saw that you were very impressed with today? At the I, Bronx I really liked the community presence. You're from the Bronx, right? Yes, and I like the community presence. I'm glad they had a lot of community organizations here that were represented. Um, well, I would say, what, what, what percent of the people walking here in that pray would you guess were actually... Set maybe, maybe 60 percent, if that. 60? I thought it was more like 20 or 10. Really? First, that low? I, well, I can't really spot people that well, you know? Well, LBGT, you know, includes, I think, their families. And, right. Well, know, I saw so. two women with babies and things exactly. like that, which I knew were les a lesbian couple. Right. But I didn't, I saw an awful lot of people that look like just the ordinary people be walking up here right. in the right. Bronx. Right. I don't think they even had any, I know, feeling doing some wild dancing. Right. And I noticed the people coming sort of walked out of the other way. Oh, I filmed a guy wearing uh, Women Love Chubbies. He was a big, heavy set African American guy. He gave me a thumbs up or a V or something. Maybe he recognized me as a fellow chubby. He didn't know I was a chubby hater, <laughs> an anti chubby person. <laughs>
Heaven forbid. Don't say that as two heavy set men walk right past you. Oh, I have no, as Lavar always say, I had no social radar. Now I'm going to turn it off and let you interview me.